Hey guys, Andrew here with Daverb. The Graco Extend Fit has remained one of the best selling convertible car seats on Amazon for years with over 60,000 ratings, averaging nearly five stars and only retailing for around 200 bucks. We've been using ours for over three years now, both rear and forward facing. So let's get a look at why this has been a top choice for parents, including myself. But first, this channel is sponsored by Love Every. Many parents transition out of newborn car seats into convertibles a little after the one year mark. And if that's the case for you, you should definitely consider checking out Love Every's Babbler Kit. The toys here are made to teach cause and effect, build fine motor skills, and explore rotation and spatial awareness. But if your child is on the younger or older side, you can check out any of Love Every's stage-based play kits and find play essential for your child's developing brain. Their toys are built to last, made with materials including sustainably harvested wood, organic cotton, non-toxic paint, and baby-safe plastics. Visit the link below to get your child a box of fun and become Become a Love Every Play Kit subscriber. So that's how you can support a growing brain. Let's talk about how you can protect it during a collision in the Graco Extended Fit. So to give you a general overview of the Extended Fit, the main selling point is extended rear facing usage. As the name would suggest, there is a four position extension panel that gives you an extra five inches of leg room to stay rear facing longer. Now, the reason why you wanna do this is because of safety and statistics. I have some links below for you to read, but in sum, the AAP suggests keeping your child rear facing for a minimum, a minimum, of two years, but that, again, that's the bare minimum. Many experts in CPSTs or child passenger safety technicians, uh, they would advocate for rear facing as long as possible as it's statistically much safer. If you follow CPSTs like Safest in the Seed or you know any car seat safety groups, you'll find parents sharing pictures of older children still rear facing uh, and the extended fit definitely gives you that ability. Now, looking at other features of the seat, there is a six position recline and a 10 position headrest that's easy to adjust as your child grows. Uh, it's also got two cup holders built in. It's not an additional thing that you need to buy, so I love that. The kids are strapped in with a five point harness and storage pockets are included to keep the straps out of the way when loading the kids in. So that's a bonus right there. Uh, it's made of a steel reinforced frame and it's performed very well in crash tests conducted by third parties. Many parents have loved the track record regarding the safety here with Graco. Regarding the cover, it is a little bit cumbersome to remove, but it can be removed and machine washed. So that is very convenient. And if you plan on traveling, uh, this seat has been approved by the FAA for use on aircraft. In case you are wondering about the exact size and dimensions, these are the hard numbers for you to check out. Overall, I love this seat, uh, and it's one of the better options that you can get if you're wanting something more on the compact side. Now, spotlighting the installation here. It's not as easy as something like the Britax Click Tight models, but it is fairly straightforward, and I'd still consider the install pretty easy. Going back to the six position recline, uh, for rear facing, you'll be at the one, two, three, or four mark. It'll be installed with the accompanying latch and can support littles between four and 50 pounds. For forward facing, the recline will be set at four, five, or six, and that can support between 22 and 65 pounds. Now there's a little known recline rule that I've read on and it's worth sharing with you guys right now. So for safety reasons, if you plan on forward facing with the extended fit before your child is 40 pounds, you are required to use position number four. If they're over 40 pounds, you'll be able to use positions five and, and six, those markers. But forward under 40, stay at four. Now that can present some overhang and space issues in smaller sedans, which we cannot have. 80% of the base needs to be on the seat. So it's best to stay rear facing and max out the 50 pound limit. But if you plan on going forward facing before your child is 40 pounds, I'd suggest maybe going with the extended fit three in one or the trio grow, which are also compact options that don't have that recline rule as the regular extended fit. So you can save a little bit of space. I hope that makes sense. If you're confused about that, please comment down below. Uh, and if you are a registered CPST, please flex your credibility and explain found on that further. Now on that note, there are multiple extend to fit options. The extend to fit three in one has all the same features plus the capability of being used as a high back booster seat 
from 40 to 100 pounds. Uh, the three in one also has an option with the anti rebound bar included for added safety uh, when rear facing. I would honestly just get that over any of these. That's a great thing to have. And then there's also the Forever Extend to Fit, which delivers the most longevity here and can be used uh, as both a high back booster from 40 to 100 pounds, like three in one, but also as a backless booster from 40 to 120 pounds. So overall, these are all amazing compact options to get and you don't have to spend up on the Nuna Rava to get safety and comfort. I would highly recommend any of the extended fit models. Before we sign off, we've got a course for new and expectant dads we cover off on baby gear buying, among other things. I love the extended fit, as I just mentioned. I chat about it in the course along with a few other great options. So if you are expecting, definitely check out our father figured course in the description of this video. There's a code for you to use and uh, join a growing private community of new and expectant dads. So go check that out. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up for more videos and reviews. For new parents, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless, later.